Welcome. All right, so what I have is y equals 1 half x plus 3, as well as 2x, 2y minus x equals 6. And what I want to do is I want to solve this via substitution. And the reason why, not only because this is the course for substitution, but also looking at this equation, you can see that already I have an equation that is solved for y. Now remember, when we're trying to find the solution, we're trying to solve what is the value for x and for y that is going to be equal for both of these equations. So when we're looking at substitution, the purpose of substituting one equation into the other is to um, eliminate one of the variables. Not kind of going back to elimination, but to only focus on one variable. So if I look at this equation here, this says y, the value of my variable y, is equal to 1 half of the value of x plus 3. Here it says 2 times the value of my variable y minus my value of my variable x equals 6. Now, I know that y is, is y in this case is also equal to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say instead of using the value of the variable y, I'm going to use the value of the variable y of what it's equal to from the other equation. So I'm going to say 2 times 1 half x plus 3 minus x equals 6. All right, so what I did is, again, I took the value of y and I plugged it into the other equation. Now I'll apply distributive property. And 2 times 1 half is just going to leave me with x. 2 times 3 is going to leave me with 6. Minus x is equal to 6. Now I can combine like terms. A lot of times it's very helpful to put the variables right next to each other. So it's be x minus x plus 6 equals 6. Now you can see x minus x is going to go to 0x, which is just 0. So I'm left with 6 equals 6. Now 6 equals 6 is always going to be 6 equals 6, no matter what the value is for x or what the value is for y. Meaning, no matter what numbers I put in for x and for y, this equation is always going to be true. So therefore, this is an example of infinite many solutions. And if you were going to look at the graph, the lines would be exactly right on top of each other, or the same line. Thanks.